Can you see me? Yes, David in the middle. Okay. Okay. Good morning. Um, I'm delighted to introduce Rosamund Pike and David Fincher, um, director and lead actress of Gone Girl for the press conference today. What attracted you on the novel to, to turn it into a movie by Julian Flynn? What was your main attraction? Um, I, I, I thought it was uh, the first time that I'd ever seen somebody um, articulate, the first time I'd ever read anything that articulated this idea of um, the projected narcissism of not only who we want to be, who we want to be seen as, but also who we need to be in order to seduce the person we think we deserve. And how, you know, you could talk about the seven-year itch and you can talk about how marriages, you know, that fail half the time. Um, are about people losing interest in one another. But, but I think there's also a, um, a real interesting idea that we somehow feel let down by our mates because they find three or five years into a marriage that they no longer have the energy to continue to be, to fake being the person that we became interested in. And I thought that was a very modern idea and it's not something that I had seen articulated that way. I think when David and I first met, we talked about anger and, you know, anger's not a female, a sort of very palatable female emotion. You know, women who are angry tend to be deemed hysterics or, um, you know, shrewish or shrill or, you know, whereas it's perfectly allowed for a man to get angry. <laughs> and I think that, I don't know, that really interests me anyway. Day one, we start with Amy on the run and you know then you're starting to play the character you're playing who is playing a character before you've got really into the under the skin of the character herself and in the end that became the most fun stuff to shoot because but at the beginning it was incredibly hard because you know by the end I, I knew who Amy was so 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 well and you try and obviously know who Amy is at the beginning, but somehow as much preparation as you do, you, you, never, you, you can never start at the place you end up in, can you? <laughs> you, can't, you, 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 you can't prepare in advance for discovery. You know, you, yeah. have, you, have, to, you have to allow it to happen. Yes, D David, we'd sit in rehearsals and David would sort of push cupcakes towards me um, during the early days of rehearsals. I mean, in, in the... Uh, <laughs> and... Um, Yes, I mean, I, you know, I did have to g gain... It says in the book that Amy gains 12 pounds during the month before her disappearance, but obviously this is not... We don't really want you to be making this the focal point of your, of your pieces, right? I well, mean, I, I... You know, yeah. but, but, but I mean, we, we tend to deal with it, or I tend to deal with it more in terms of playing Amy over different periods of her life, being, being a bit more vague, but... Um, and therefore weight changes... Um, are, are sort of, you know, involved with that. Um, but, yeah, so in the book it describes that she gains 12 pounds in the month before she goes away, and, and one of, you know, the, the jibes she makes at her husband is that he didn't even notice. And, sure, my first instinct was, oh, I can do this by eating avocados and macadamia nuts, and, and then I realised that that's not the kind of weight we wanted to gain, so then I just went for milkshakes and burgers and fries. <laughs> <laughs> and then had to lose it again.